with. Um, <sighs> I have my final day today. I tried studying. I'm struggling emotionally, but I know why. <laughs> I'm struggling emotionally. Cause I'm gonna get my period this week, so I know it's bad. Yeah. I know it's bad. You know, those are those who are meant for you will stay with you. And those that aren't will fall off your plate. I hadn't posted in a while. So my birthday post was a long long overdue compared to how I used to post. I used to post all the time. All of the time. Not on, on this not on this one, because even this one I don't post a lot. Um, mostly because I wasn't sure what I wanted to post. It's just I know I wanted to post moments that were meaningful to me. And I, I haven't really deleted posts from my personal account, granted not everybody has access to my personal account anymore, but I really haven't deleted any pictures of my past. Like my ex is still there, like memories are still there. And I realized I posted a lot more then than I do now. Balancing, I guess, myself out, right? In terms of my privacy and, and clearly using more of this platform to Like I mentioned before, silence speaks loudly when you know how to listen. Silence speaks loudly. I don't have a lot of followers. And I'm very detail-oriented. So sometimes I notice the subtle things. So I noticed. And a couple people had had unsubscribed. I'm like, oh, I wonder who they are, right? <laughs> I know one of them. I'm pretty sure one of them. Because I've triggered her before. And she doesn't like how I post about death. <laughs> right? I don't know. I'm speaking about it symbolically. But a lot of people are afraid of death. Not realizing, right? That we're constantly, there's this constant cycle that's around us. Life and death is everywhere. It's everywhere. So I'm like, okay, whatever. What I was surprised about. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I was. It's my ex. My ex. Makes sense, right? Considering everything. <laughs> I looked at his post. So because I have two accounts, um, the way that I know that I was blocked is when I try to search them and then I can't find them anymore, right? Happened with Hannah, right? And I saw that. He wasn't popping up anymore. So I used my other account. Sure enough, there it was. So I'm like, okay. You blocked me. Doesn't want to see my post. Okay. I get it. So I looked at, you know, being Snoopy that I am, I, I looked at his, his account through my other account. And I was reminded, I was reminded, you know, 
In our marriage, not once did he ever post about me. He never did. You know, some people are all lovey-dovey and they post about, you know, what's great in their life. He never posted about me. Not once. <laughs> not once did he post about me. It got to the point that I even used his phone to take a picture of myself to post it on his account so that he remembered, that he remembered who he was with. Not one picture. And he deleted that one picture. Well, one picture. <laughs> but if you see my posts, I posted about everybody. Everybody. Everybody that I love. And they're still there. keep telling myself like mm -mm. I'm not gonna settle I'm not gonna settle for someone who doesn't listen who doesn't see all of me mm -mm. it sucks but I'm not gonna settle So anyways, I need to study for my final. <sighs> and turn in all my notes. So I could start this next chapter. With less responsibilities. Make space. Let go of old, right? Make space for the new. For what's to come. <laughs> the art of allowing. I need to put that on post-it. <laughs> the art of allowing. That's what I'm going to focus on. The art of allowing what's meant for me. To, to stay with me. To come to me. My name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth. This just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node. Um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and, and 
be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth, we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me.